What's going on YouTube? This is Sehamed back with another Spider-Man Classics figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Spider-Man. This is Peter Parker's Spider, Spider-Man with punching and burglar trapping action. You can see here the Spider-Man here comes with a interchangeable head with Peter Parker and he comes with a little base that has a uh, scorpion. It looks like a web trap also. Not scorpion, I'm sorry, shocker. And a uh, nice little display base at the bottom there. Got the figure and the close-up of the head sculpt right up top. Got a pic picture of uh, Spider-Man. This is the red card version. And uh, this is by Toy Biz. So, yeah, I picked this figure up. I uh, think it's really cool that we get a, a you know interchangeable head so I can display this Spider-Man with the Peter Parker head. That's how I'll be displaying the figure. On the back, we got uh, you know directions on how to use this figure, how to change the heads. Um... Looks like he's got a few little gimmicks going on here, so pretty cool. Other uh, figures from the series, we got the Spider-Man with magnetic shoot and grab action, Green Goblin, and right over here at the bottom, Flip and Zip Spider-Man. This is by Toy Biz. Uh, I'm not going to read the read-up. The read-up's the same as uh, the other Spider-Man classics. So it looks pretty cool. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is take a little break and we'll take the figures outside of the packaging and we'll take a closer look at the Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Spider-Man. So stay tuned, guys. Whoa. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we have the Peter Parker, Spider-Man with punching and burglar trapping action um, outside of the package. You can see the little display base he has here is uh, Shocker. And uh, it's a nice little display base. It's pretty much a full-sized uh, figure, but I mean, he's obviously not posable, or he has a little bit of articulation, but you can't take him out. Um, I'm reading the instructions on this in the back on how you you mess with the gimmick, which is kind of kind of lame. Um, not really gonna worry about that too much. I mean, I'll I'll get into it in a second. But uh, the, the, this Spider-Man is actually pretty nice. Not as great as I was expecting the figure to be. He's very skinny. It seems like the head is a little large and the body is just small. I mean, what's your guys' take on it? It just looks really big. The eyes are really white though. Just a really small figure or small body and a big head. It's got a big old spider logo there on the back. And a small one there on the front. And he does come with an interchangeable head. He comes with the Peter Parker head, which I think is okay. Not not that great, but it's cool to have a Spider-Man with an interchangeable head, I guess. And uh, there's the um, top of the hair there. Now, I'm going to go over his articulation really quick. Uh, the head can go up and down. can rotate at the neck, or the head, sorry. Arms go in and out. Oh, a little stiff. Forward and back. Swivel in the arm, double jointed, double jointed elbows. Uh, rotate at the forearm, not at the wrist, but at the forearm. No ab crunch. You can rotate at the waist. Now he has this little lever here on the on the lower back, which is where he has that gimmick. He just it's like he has this like punching action. So what you do is you just kind of like twist him, and he just punches. That's his little action feature he has. Um, again, he bends at the elbow or bicep, same articulation with the arm. Uh, rotation in the waist, that's that's the rotation he has, that gimmick, you can't really do much with it. No upper like ab articulation or anything like that. Arms go, or legs go in and out, uh, forward and back, double jointed knees, uh, rotation in the leg. He has um, lower leg swivel. The foot can go up and down. Foot, the foot goes up and down pretty far. I mean, look at that. Look how far that goes, and it can go down pretty far as well, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. He has a toe articulation also. So this figure is by Toy Biz. So that's Spider-Man. I mean, he is a decent figure. Not not was what I was expecting, like I said. And the head's a little big. So what you do is you pop the top of the head off. And uh, you can just put in the Peter Parker head. And <laughs> and I don't know. I, th I, I don't think it looks too too cool. I mean, what do you guys think? It just looks too big. The head looks a little too big for the body. But, I mean, like I said, it's cool to have a Spider-Man where you can, like, pose him with a Peter Parker head or a human head. And that's how I'm going to pose this Spider-Man with this top head like that. So that's, that's Spider-Man. If you guys want to get a close-up on the head sculpt, I'll show you. 
Not much detailing in it. Kind of looks cartoony. Big sideburns. And uh, that's him. So let's get take a look at the, the base for Shocker. The display base. So here's Shocker. Nice detailing. Nice detailing on the bricks on Shocker himself. So close up. The head on Shocker can uh, rotate side to side. That's all the articulation that this figure has. And then I'll show you the back here. He has these two little web traps here, and I'll show you what that does in a second. So what you do is, um, well, here's a side view of Shocker. You can see he's attached to the wall. What you do is you just pretty much push this figure in, and the webs come out, trapping the figure. That's what the um, punch action is for. I'm going to see how well I can do this. Nope, doesn't even work. Let me see the instructions on this. Yeah, he's supposed to punch him. Not that strong. So what you do is punch it. You push this in. doesn't even close all the way. And he traps the figure with his web. So he socks him, and then these webs just spring out from behind. That's all you do is you just push the figure in. And that's what it does. Kind of lame, but still a cool little display piece to have. And again, the Spider-Man's decent. Like if I had to rate this figure, I'd give him like a four. He's not really a, a great figure, and he's kind of like flimsy. But it's cool, like I said, to have a Spider-Man with a Peter Parker head. Um, not a not not that great of a figure, though. I still would recommend him if you're a Spider-Man fan. And uh, there's no articulation in the hands or wrists, so he always has a closed fist. Okay, guys, this is Seha Man, and today we're taking a look at the Spider-Man Classics, Peter Parker Spider-Man with punching and burglar trapping actions. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my review, and we'll see you guys next time.